Hello and welcome to a deck profile uh, from Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. I'm Dre Gottams and today I'm going to do a deck profile here on the Noivern GX um, with the um, fairy kind of like rise that was really strong and quick in the beginning and now it's starting to see a fall because we're having a lot of steel support come out soon. I decided uh, to kind of revisit this guy. Um, it's actually really, really good and has some very important attacks for the meta. And the only problem was his weakness here, weakness to fairy. But with that uh, weakness hopefully diminished somewhat by the rise of steel, um, I'm thinking this could be a very interesting play indeed. So uh, this is our main attacker in the Neuvern GX 200 HP dragon type. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the, the basic, the Neubat. Just a very standard uh, 60 HP basic. Uh, there is one thing to note, it is a flying type so it has a resistance to fighting. Uh, minus 20 damage um, to Buzzwolves is actually pretty good to kind of keep you alive in the early set. Then you're going to want to go over to this Neuvern GX. It has the uh, Distort attack, 50 damage, and your opponent can't play any items from their hand during their next turn. So it's basically a Quaking Punch, but for 50 damage, uh, which is really good. Uh, just uh, Darkness and a Colorless. So uh, we're going to want to get that Darkness energy, and then any other energy we, is fine to use. Uh, the second attack, uh, Sonic Volume, is actually pretty interesting right now. It is uh, Psychic, uh, Dark, and Colorless, so it's a little bit harder to get out, and it's uh, three energy attachments. But it does 120, and your opponent can't play any special energy cards from their hand during their next turn. Now, as we know, special energies are kind of running rampant right now. Double colorless is, um, especially, you know, with, uh, I guess, all the kind of strong energies going on in the Buzzwall decks. Um, the Zora Arcs with their double colorlesses and Zora Arc GX being so good. Yes, Sonic Volume can really help you um, put the clamps down on your opponent if you play it at the right time. You also think of decks like Galissapod that really likes to utilize the double colorless as well. So uh, both of these attacks are actually really relevant right now. Unfortunately, the GX attack is... Uh, I almost want to say pointless, but yeah, you're almost never going to use it. It's not very good. Uh, same color cost as a Sonic Volume, but then this attack does 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So you're hardly ever getting any kills with it. If you're using it, you're not um, getting item lock with a Distort or the Sonic Volume stopping special energy. So yeah, you don't really want to do that. But uh, overall, this is a really strong Pokemon. It also has free retreat, so um, that's something to not be overlooked as well. So we're going to be running a 4-3 line of that. Um, and then to counter it, we're going to be running uh, the Trashalance and Garbotoxin Garbodors. Um, see, we're already running Psychic Energy in this deck. So, you know, one, we can um, do some good damage with this Garbodor. And then also, uh, if we can get the Garbotoxin up, uh, we can possibly have Ability Lock and Item Lock at the same time. And the cool thing about the Neuvern GX is that if we put a Floatstone on this Garbodor and then do Distort, they can't use any item cards to get rid of the Floatstone. So you're kind of guaranteeing that lock. Uh, so long as you keep the Neuvern alive, you can kind of make sure that they can't use Abilities or Items. So that's like a really, really strong combo. Um, something uh, that I think is going to be very, very good going into the next meta. So we are running a split of that. We're running a 2-2 split. You know, Trash Alliance is good as well just because it can ramp up to heavy damage. A lot of times your opponent's going to see that you're trying to play an item lock deck and they're going to use as many items in their first turn as they can. So if they rush through it all and try to use 8 to 10 items. Uh, then you just evolve into Garbodor Trash Lance and um, have a, a nice hearty laugh at them. Um, so for that we are going to be running a 3-4 line. Uh, since it is kind of split, you don't really need a full 4-Trubbish um, line. And then we're just going to choose, uh, depending on the situation, which Garbodor we're going to go with. And then to round off the Pokemon, of course, we have the two Tapu Lele. Uh, only two, because we don't want to start off with them. We really, really want to start off with the Noibat. So starting off with uh, Tapu Lele hurts the consistency a lot, so we're only going to run two to help minimize that. 
For the item cards, we have one Evil Soda just to help us get into our stage ones a little bit faster. Uh, we have two Field Blower. Um, a problem uh, that this deck has is hanging with um, people who are doing massive amounts of damage. And if your opponent can get a choice ban on early, then that's really going to hurt. So we're going to use Field Blowers to take off things like choice ban um, or stadiums because we aren't running any stadiums. And then uh, next up, we have four Max Elixir. Since you do have to take some time to attach two to three energy on our guys, we're going to try to use Max Elixir to have a backup Pokemon ready to go. And then next up is we, we're going to have the po Rescue Stretcher and um, Super Rod combo. Uh, like I like to do a split of one on one just because uh, you want to be able to get maybe a monster to your hand with Stretcher or you want to cycle back a lot of energies with Rod. So um, I, I typically go with the one one line uh, of, of each and that way you kind of have all of your bases covered. Uh, then we have the standard for Ultra Ball. We re use one Acerola. Um, just Acerola is just too good not to use. Get something that's stuck in the active out of the active, fully heal up a, a Pokemon. Um, yeah, just way too good not to include it in a deck these days. Uh, then we have the one Bridget to kind of get out all of our basics, also standard. Running three Guzma, four N, and four Professor Sycamore. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, very beautiful indeed. And then lining up the items we have our choice band and float stone combo um choice band because uh distort for 50 can be a little on the slow side so you want to get that up to 80. um and then three float stone uh, is going to be helpful as well for turning off the abilities on uh the opponent pokemon so we slap that on a uh, garbador then we attack with distort and it's a happy day for us Rounding off things, we have our 7 Darkness Energy and 5 Psychic. You want to do a little more on the Darkness side since you have to have Dark to at least do the Distort. So you want to increase your chances of getting that off. So yep, that is the deck in a nutshell. Um, let's go ahead and see how it performs. Obviously, of course, if you do go up against a Guard of War, um, there's basically almost no way to really win that. Um, but... We are counting on the fact that Garbodor's, um, well not Garbodor, uh, Gardevoir is falling out of favor. And um, if we can then avoid all those um, berries, then we're going to be really happy. So we're going to see how this works. Starting off here, it's probably Lycanroc or Buzzwool or something of that nature, um, which is probably going to be the premier deck so we're going to see. Um, but we do have a Trebuchet to start. And unfortunately we don't have any draw so this is looking a little hairy. We'll see here. And still nothing but we'll, we'll go ahead and attach and just end. So I mean one of the issues of running um, evolution decks is you can get these awkward hands where we <laughs> have three stage ones in our hand, but we'll hope for an N. Um, see if our opponent would be so sweet enough as to let us shuffle our hand. I think that would be nice of them, wouldn't it? So we see Ultra Ball coming down. We're likely going to have a Tapu Lele to Bridget. But, I mean, if they're feeling generous, you know, they could just activate that in real quick. Here we see a Max Elixir going out and a miss, so that's good for us. And a scoop! Hmm. I do not know what we did to deserve that, but I <laughs> uh, feel very, very fortunate. Um, so, not really a game. Let's go ahead. Hey, look at us. Get coins. Get coins. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get another game in um, and see if people will, will actually play. That was really bizarre. Just the fear of that trubbish. I mean, Puzzle is weak to Psychic, so I can see how 
probably felt like, you know what, I just don't even want to go up against a Psychic deck. So, we kind of were able to bluff them with that. That's fine. So we'll definitely use that. Being able to hit uh, Buzzwolves for weakness is definitely a positive thing and something that, uh, you know, we're going to have to lean on for sure. Now this is uh, definitely looking like a better start for us. This is what we like to see. And, uh, okay, um, cool thing about this deck is we will be able to shut off that um, Scoundrel Guard. So let's go ahead and put an energy on the back. We're going to Ultra Ball. Get rid of N and an energy. And bring out the Trubbish. Let's count. Let's see, we do have two Garbodors. Perfect. One more Lele. Um, and then it, Flowstones, three Floatstones, ten energies. Okay, so we're looking good. This is likely going to be a energy de denial deck. Um, hopefully they don't uh, pull off a delinquent here. If they don't, then I think we're going to be looking good. We can get the... Okay, good. We can get the evolution. We can try to stop them from using items. Um, we will have to make sure that we conserve our energies as best as we can. It was unfortunate to have to discard one right off the bat. But that's fine. Okay, good. This is also good. We got that. Let's go waste no energies. And find a way to retreat and evolve, and we'll be feeling pretty good. N neither there, so that's uh, not good. Well, we can actually get the item lock, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do remove the field blower and the garbador. And let's go ahead and get the other Noivern GX out. Nice and easy. Now we see how that uh, free retreat comes in pretty good. So we aren't going to be able to do any damage, but we will be able to uh, at least stop them from using items. I think, let's see, uh, prevent all effects of attacks. Oh, never mind, it's all effects of attacks. Whoops. So I guess that's pretty cool for them. Um, but we'll see if we can um, get that evolution and item on the next turn at least. Oh, and they elected to not do anything. Okay, perfect. Oof, I don't want to get rid of energies. We're going to have to get rid of energies here. And Garbotoxin. And, okay, we have the Super Rod, so we're fine. And let's play the Tapu Lele first to make sure we're not knuckleheads. And let's go ahead and get another full hand. And then make sure we don't uh, let our opponent completely uh, make us deck out. Ah, perfect, 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 perfect. So we'll attach there. Now we can stop them from using items or get the kill on the Hoopa. I think we'll just get the kill on the Hoopa. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the kill on the Hoopa. I want to get this um, wishy-washy up as soon as possible, and then from here on out, we can start uh, turning off their their items, and then they'll just just be stuck with. Um, okay, that's fine. Just knocking off one energy. Perfect. We're totally okay with that. So now we're going to get the item lock, and all they're going to really be able to do is team flare grunt. all they're really going to be able to do. I think we have three. Oh, we have four, so perfect. Let's go ahead and shuffle these back. Two, three. Attach choice ban. Attach float. And laugh at the world. Okay, we're doing good now. Going to be stuck solely on... He can't Pokemon Catcher. Um, he can Guzma, and he can... Um, Okay, guess do that as well. Now we don't want to give him another energy. All right, like more more cards with the end. So I guess we'll just wait. I mean, they're going to be losing items. So two Plumeria. Bridget comes down. Which allows us uh, to have access to this Guzma, so that's actually pretty good. So now we just need another energy. 
This is also okay, so we have one, two, five. I guess we could put this um, trubbish down. Let's go ahead. So now we're gonna start threatening with that. I guess let's go ahead and end. If we get like the item lock, the item lock will stop them from using the cards in hand, so that won't be as big of a deal. And they're gotta be running low on the plumeria. So there you go. Item lock ability lock back in place. So they're gonna really need uh, two flare grunts, and they're not gonna be able to use things like um, puzzles to get them back. So there's Acerola, that's fine. We're totally okay with that. Let's go ahead and Evo Soda. So we're feeling good there. We have a, a Guzma to make sure that nothing gets stuck in the active. And then I think uh, now we're just gonna have to be patient. How many energies are in the discard? So two energy, we have three here, so seven more that we can use. Let's see Lucimine. Oh, that's how they're gonna get the plumeria back. Wow. Ugh, that is rough indeed. I guess we'll start putting energy on. That Lucimine is gonna be a problem. Just gonna wait. Okay, interesting. I guess we can try to get a bunch of kills all at one time. So let's. Um, no, I don't. I really want to save that Guzma. Uh, I wanted to start um, weak weakening up things, and then we could try to use our GX attack and kill a whole bunch of stuff at once. But definitely feel like our Guzmas are going to be important to make sure we don't get anything stuck. And then the cool thing is, um, if he does want to lose a meme and just dis keep discarding items, then we're going to go ahead and bring up our trash lance and then hopefully sweep with that. Let's see, I think we're doing 100 damage right now. So if they do, or not, you know, if they do uh, do the discard two items, hopefully they're going to be discarding items and not supporters. But even if they do do supporters, then um, it's going to be less resources that they have. So let's see what they're getting rid of. Like I said, if they do um, items, then we'll just go ahead. Yeah, cool, so that's 12. Oh, okay, so yeah, he actually went for that. That's fine. And we can go ahead and attach another one. Let's go ahead and play N to get that other plumery out of hand, hopefully. Cool. And we'll just keep the item lock. This is an interesting matchup. You can see that um, they're trying to stop us with a lot of the kind of like strategic hate. We're stopping them with strategic hate. Question is, whose hate will be stronger? And another Lusamine. Wow. So I, I guess they're just going to keep trying to knock off all of our psychics. Um, we still have a few more in deck, so. That's not to bother us at all. Just keep up with the distort. No, no hurry right now. Hopefully they go after the darks because, I mean, we're getting kills, so they're going to have to start to feel that pressure eventually. Team Flare Grunt. It's fine. That's fine. And if we can get energies off of our prize cards, that's even better. No energies there. And we'll see if they knock off Psychic Energy or if they want to try to keep um, whittling away on our Noivern GX. Team Scroll Grunt. And a Whiff. Beautiful. Probably was just using that to um, get some decent knowledge. There's 80 damage going on board. So, I mean... He's probably worried about the Garbodor, but he's he's got to do something about this damage because he can only take um, one more hit uh, before he lot dies. So okay, interesting. I'm not sure if I agree with that play. He saw that we had no energies in hand, 
and he can't play any items, so that might have won us the game. Oh, I guess uh, yeah, he really needed to get some Pokemon down, so that's fair. And uh, we'll just go ahead and attach and continue to distort. One thing to keep in mind, if we do retreat and use the Garbodor, we kind of want it to be f to end game, because um, then we're going to give up the item lock. So that's why we didn't um, stop it there. And we, we have an Ace Roll. I guess Ace Roll is not going to be any help for us, because we're not going to take any damage this game. But let's go ahead and just distort. Let's see how many. So he used two Ace Rolla. I thought he used two uh, Lucid Me. Only one. Okay, there's a second. Oh, maybe he used two and he, one of them is a Lucimine, so it creates a, um, yeah, like a never ending loop. Huh. That seems pretty tricky. So then, like, yeah, I guess they'll never run out of, run out of that resource, and they, they can just keep doing that. If I can't one shot, then they never have to worry about it. Is that how that works? Let's see, five, six. I think we're still at six. Yeah, six. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. He might have this. If that's the case, because then he'll never run out. That's a pretty busted combo that allows it to grab itself. Grab two Acerola. Interesting. He probably has another Lucimine. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else we can do. An Acerola. I mean, we could go out with the Garbodor and try to just put a lot of pressure. I think we're going to catch it off guard. We're going to do what we're doing with the Distort, and then we're going to go up with the Garbodor and get a kill with the Trash Alliance. Um, and then hopefully that will kind of... Oh, yep, and there's another Lucimine. So hopefully he doesn't have... Other Pokemon? Okay. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. What can we do here? So it probably has Crushing Hammers. But the deal with Crushing Hammers is that's more damage that's going to come in. So let's go ahead and just get the kill here. Cool. Get a couple cards. No energy. So he can't Crushing Hammer, but then he's got to worry that that's going to put him in closer range for a one-shot. See what he decides to do. So there's a Crushing. So if he misses one, then if he doesn't get the Psychic Energy out of our hand, I think we, we win. Because he's going to probably use another one. Oh, he did use... Okay. There's one. That's smart. Because he couldn't use another Crushing Hammer, and then we would just attach and, and get game. We just really need, um, hmm, we don't have a Guzma. Oh, 3N already down, wow. So, I mean, he can't Team Flare Grunt because he needs to Acerola. So we're probably going to see Acerola here. Okay. That's fine. Gonna have to ace a roll again. So I think we might have put enough pressure on him. Um, we'll see what he does. Plumeria. But that's not going to get this out of the active. So I guess he has to hit Crushing Hammer. I think that's his best bet. Then do we still have. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, that's what he's doing. The Plumeria. Okay. Uh, so that's three. Oh, wow. But now all we have to do is hit that. Perfect. 
and attack for game. Oh no, I think we're 10 short. Wow, 10 short. But we were at 170 last time. Okay, Sorola. So close, yet so far. Let's go ahead and end. Yes, because we don't want to deck out, and hopefully they don't have what they need now. He's got to be fearful of using any more items. And we should have one more uh, energy. Hopefully, that's not our, our last prize card, but one more psychic energy. We have your field blower. Okay. Maybe to get. Okay, to get the Garbodor. Huh. Crushing hammer. Another crushing hammer. Pokemon catcher. Okay. Do we have a Tapu Lele there? We do not. That's one float stone. Two float stones. We have one more float stone. This is a wild battle. I guess we could stretch her. No. P shuffling one Garbodor is not going to really do much for us. Let's see, so he's getting two Crushing Hammer. So now all we have to do is really just get a Float Stone. That one's kind of a waste. Probably should have saved it. So we need a. That's what we want to see. So if we get a float stone, then we will have gotten out of this battle. Not yet. Okay. Guess we'll end here. Well, floats. Oh yeah. So we still need a float. Now he's down to zero cards, wow. Okay, let's see, let's go ahead and Ultra Ball. We don't need Bridget. That, let's see here. So we have Float Stone and two energy. Let's go ahead and get everything out of the deck. And we'll Sycamore. Coming down to the wire. There's our energy. There's our float stone. So we got out of this hate deck with Noivern GX. Well done. Wow, that was interesting. Okay. That was a tough battle. Take a seat, Gengar. Um, awesome. So you can see, I mean, he didn't really have abilities only on the Hoopa and um, obviously Garbodor is going to be great for that then the item lock was also really hurting him so yeah he tried to come at us with some hate full hate and uh, we put a stop to that real quick like um, like I said if you run up against fairy obviously you're gonna get smashed but anything else that combo of putting on um, the float stone and your opponent not being able to field blower it away is really, really good. Um, I think you guys should uh, consider it. Um, run some tests. Try to see how you can make it as fast as possible. I've been liking the Max Elixir build. Um, I guess one card you could put in is maybe the like, Baby Tapu Coco for some free retreating as well. But um, yeah, I think it's a good deck. Um, let me know what you guys think below and uh, catch you next time. All right. Bye.